Hello, good evening to everybody. Uh, here I have to Mr. Pastran. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, sir. <laughs> I'm a little bit sick, but I'm fine. <laughs> well, I hope you get better. Thank you, sir. Uh, let me see Mr. Portillo. Welcome. How are you? Okay, okay, I think that you are not here. Uh, Mr. Torrento, uh, welcome. How are you? Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, uh, Miss. Uh, let me see, Miss Aguilar, welcome to this video conference. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miss. How have you been up to? I'm good, thank you, and you? I'm fine, Miss. Uh, let me, I, I don't know, you are You are seeing the, the, the PowerPoint presentation right now? Are you, are you seeing uh, the PowerPoint presentation? Yes, we see it. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Well, uh, this is a, okay, the, um, tonight we have the, the, the one of the, uh, we're going to be discussing one of the topics uh, that we have for this uh, course, that's mean the last one, okay, the last topic. Why the last one? Because tomorrow we are going to be checking the exercises that you had for the final exam. We're going to be uh, checking those exercises. We're going to be discussing about them. And if you have some of them that you haven't complete, um, well, we're going to be uh, working on it. Tonight, uh, we are going to uh, check the topic that we have in the platform in a moment, I will show you uh, the, the, the web page that we have here. Just give me a second, because I have some problems with my computer right now, but I'm trying to uh, solve it. Give me a second, please. Sorry, guys. Okay, here we have, um, I will show you this, this, and this. Uh, very, well, uh, we're going to be checking uh, the pronunciation of unreleased and release, in this case, uh, the, the, the phoneme, uh, the, the two phonemes that we have there, we're going to be uh, working, but for starting the, the video class, we're going to watch this uh, uh, this video on YouTube, and then we're going to be discussing. So I, I will ask you to pay attention, to pay carefully attention to this video because we are going to be uh, uh, working with the information here uh, in. 
it's going to be useful, okay? So let me know if you can listen. If not, please let me know too. Hi, everyone. We want you to get... Can you listen to that? Yes. Okay, well, I will play it right now. Hi, everyone. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentence. D. Okay, um, here we have some of the examples using uh, these uh, phonemes. We're going to be practicing them. And I will ask you to, to read these uh, sentences, but I will explain first. Uh, we have here the unreleased, unreleased, and did. Okay, uh, those phonemes, um, according to the information that we have here, it, it says that uh, when it is followed by a vowel sound, okay, when it's followed by a vowel sound, it's released, okay, it's released. Uh, if you say he's not, okay, not, not, uh, this sound that we make, uh, that we made at the end of that part of that particle, uh, it's going to be released. What happened with the other one? If we have a, a, a consonant, okay, if we have a consonant, uh, the pronunciation of that uh, yeah, phoneme will be unreleased. Let's see how. She's not, she's not good, she's not good at math, at math. See, if you notice there, the pronunciation of T, T at the end, not, uh, not good, not good, it's on release. Not good, not good. We, that means we are not pronouncing at all that phoneme. But when we use a vowel, okay, uh, follow by this, uh, we we make uh, 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 a song that is a, a little bit longer. Uh, for instance, we have here: he's not not okay, not a good artist, a good artist, good good artist. Okay, artist, I mean, uh, they really hate, they really hate it, okay, hate it. Uh, if we notice the other part when it is unreleased, that's mean that we uh, pronounce, but we don't pronounce that the, the son of that uh, phoneme. And the example that we have here is she's not good, she's not good. Not good. If you notice, we are now uh, pronouncing t -t -t at the end. He's not, he's not good. He's not, he's not good. Oh, she is not good. She is not, we are not pronouncing it, okay? I don't know if you can understand this because uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, complicated to explain because you must identify the pronunciation of those phonemes. Is it clear what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you're saying that the words are linked, right? Yes, uh, the words are linked by, but the thing here is that uh, if we have a consonant, we don't, do not pronounce uh, the 
uh, this phoneme. We, we don't pronounce it. But if we have a vowel, we pronounce it using the sounds that we have there for uh, the phoneme. Uh, and I was giving you an example. She is not good. She is not good. We are not pronouncing the, the, the vowel, uh, I mean the phoneme. I don't know if you can listen it. Okay, we are we are a uh, we are not pronouncing that song. But in the other part that it's released in the other example, and we are using here, is not okay. Not a good, good, good artist or artist. Okay, we are pronouncing it. Um, so we are to check this. If we use a consonant. If we use a consonant, it is not pronounced at all. But if we have a vowel, it is pronounced uh, that funny. Okay? So, so play, pay attention Part to the a. rest of the video. Listen and practice. No, we when here. it is fall on science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Okay. So, it's your turn. Let me see who wants to be a volunteer in a read the first example that we have here. Who wants to be a volunteer? Me. Okay, sir, go ahead. The first example that we have here, the first sentence. Read it, please. She's not, not good at math, at math and science. Okay, excellent, excellent, very good. Uh, the second one, someone else? I hate working on Sundays. Okay, excellent, very good. The third one, someone else? You need to manage money well. Okay, excellent, very good. Uh, the fourth one, someone else? He's not a good artist. Excellent. Uh, the next one, someone else? Someone haven't been participating yet. They really hate it. Okay, excellent. And the last one. I need a cup of coffee. Amazing, okay, very good. You did a good uh, work there, excellent. And we're going to be uh, working on it, well, on the following uh, topic there. Let's see. Check it out this. This is the lesson objective that we have for tonight. And it says, in this session, you will develop a skill in listening for main ideas. Okay, uh, and in this part, we have an exercise and it says job hunting, okay, job hunting. Here we have a, an audio, okay, here we have an audio and you have these exercises. I know that some of you already complete, but some of you uh, haven't complete yet. And we must, uh, what we're going to be focusing here is in, in the pronunciation, uh, in the audio, okay? And because we're going to be answering some questions that I will be asking you. Uh, so please pay attention to it. And then uh, I will ask you, okay? So go ahead guys, please pay attention. Listen. 
listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they're looking for. Pick the job that would be best for each person. 1. Bill. So, what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Page 66. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Answer these questions. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Okay, uh, here we have. And here we have the first exercise. And then you must solve. And it's about Bill. Okay, what is focus on? In the case of Bill, it is a flight attendant, teacher, or some writer. What do you think about this? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Okay, very good. Amazing. Um, what about Shannon? Can you tell me that? A doctor. Doctor. Excellent. Very good. And the last one, Ben. Okay, can you tell me that? A model. Model. A model. A model. Yes, it is true. Amazing. Well, you did it good. Um, we're going to be checking right now this uh, this video and then i will explain in you using the whiteboard some exercise and then we are going to be working on something uh, it says at the end of this class participant will learn uh, adjectives for describing personality traits okay that's the objective that we have for uh, 
tonight class. Please pay attention to this video and I will be asking you. This is going to be the, the last video. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered. Creative. Critical. Disorganized. Efficient. Forgetful. Generous. Hardworking. Impatient. Level-headed. Moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. 2. A co-worker Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. 3. A teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. 4. A relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, okay. Uh, can you tell me here okay. in this part? It seems as if he's always what angry at me about fire? something. Really? Yeah, he gets up. Okay, can you, uh, uh, hello, can you tell me uh, using this, uh, what are the, uh, I mean, the descriptions for each one? A boss is serious. Okay, in the case of the boss, he's serious. Okay, what else? A co-worker is generous. Generous, okay, very good. What else can you identify? A teacher is moody. Teacher is oh. Moody, okay. Yeah. What is okay. the meaning of moody? Moody, uh, like mood? Like changing mood. Um, the, when you when when you have different uh, attitudes, como cambio de ánimo. Yeah, something like that. Moody. Okay. A temper. Angry. <laughs> yeah, that in that way it could be angry. It could be um, well. A crazy. Uh, <laughs> with the kind of bipolar. <laughs> yeah, it's money. Okay, uh, in the case of relative. Bad temper. Bad temper. Okay, excellent. You did well. So, tell me about you. What do you think about you? You are creative, forgetful, serious friendly, uh, generous, strange, moody patient, have working. Tell me about you, okay? Does anyone who wants to share something with us? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay, Miss, go ahead. Uh, tell the name because I didn't see, I, I, I can't see you because I am my phone only here. Diga el nombre para ver quién comienza, porque yo dije también, me voy a poner en mute, que siga la otra chica, después yo si quiere. Ok. Espera, me voy a poner en mute. Ok, Miss. ¿Quién was the other one? Ok, 
see you when I can start. Okay, go ahead. Okay, it's not a lie. It's a true. <laughs> no, I am creative. Um, I consider that I am hardworking and I am generous and we are co-workers. Um, I don't have, I don't, I, I am not moody. I am pension. And I am a little disorganized with okay. some things that I have. Just that. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Um, I mean, very well. <laughs> so thank you for sharing that uh, with us. Let me see uh, if there is someone else who wants to participate, wants to practice something of your English and tell us uh, what are some of your characteristics? I think that I, I am serious and a little impatient. Okay. So I'm not working because I like something well done. And I am a little uh, angry. I had bad temper where something is uh, not good for me or is and not something right. it's not working as the way you want. Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, let me see who else who wants to participate. Who else? Yeah, teacher, me. Okay, go ahead, sir. Um, I think that I am a reliable person because uh, you can tell me whatever you want. You can tell me um, your secrets or I don't know. I mean, um, we can talk a lot and I will never betray you. You know oh, excellent. what I mean? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. That's mean that you're a good friend. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see who else. I like I like this because you had the opportunity to practice your English. Remember, you uh, don't have a, another space, okay, like this a, in real life. So you must a, you must practice, okay. You must take those a, spaces and practice your English. Let me see, someone else who wants to participate? Uh, I want to. Okay. I think I'm so serious. Everyone that knows me, He's always telling me that I'm a really serious person. <laughs> oh, hey, you're curious. <laughs> no, that's good so because I, sometimes people that are curious like to learn many no, things. Like to, no. to, you're not curious. Serious. Serious. Ah, serious. Serious. Yeah. Ah, listening <laughs> curious. Okay. I'm curious, <laughs> but. Uh, Serious, it's uh, like something that people is always telling me. <laughs> <laughs> something that represents you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, tell me. Uh -huh. What else? Mm, I think I am, I have no patience sometimes. <laughs> You're impatient. You're impatient. Um, a little. Okay. Well, but I'm trying really hard <laughs> to change okay. that. Okay. Okay, Miss. Thank you. Very good. Let's see who else. Who else wants to participate? Um, 
me. Okay, miss, go ahead. Okay, I will tell you uh, 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 some information about my persa, persona, personality. I am a uh, cheerful, uh, serious, uh, impatient, uh, uh, I hard working. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Chari. And what? Chari. C H A T T Y. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, very good. Uh, so there is someone else who wants to participate. What about you, teacher? Uh, what about me? Well, uh, in my case, I'm a little bit creative. And I like to craft many things when I'm teaching. It, well, in this case, when I'm, when I'm in, 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 in a classroom, of course, uh, I like to craft some things. I feel that I'm creative uh, with those things because there are other things that I, that I consider I'm not creative. Um, some people say that I'm serious, but I don't think so. Maybe people that don't know me think that I'm serious, but when they know me uh, a little bit more, uh, maybe they, they, they find that I'm not uh, just serious. Uh, I've, I think that I'm friendly, okay? That's something that I consider that. It's a characteristic of mine. Uh, um, let me see. I'm patient. I have to be patient. <laughs> it's not if I if I want. That's uh, that's in, in that case that characteristic uh, must be in me as teacher because I have to um, I have to work with with uh, many students. Uh, imagine uh, I'm working in in a university where I have to manage fifteen students. I mean, uh, 50 students, sorry, 50 students. So uh, when they are in the classroom, it's a mess working with that because some, some uh, people are talking, so, so I have to be patient with all of them. Uh, hard working, I consider that uh, as a characteristic of, of mine. And sometimes I'm disorganized because in my desk, I have a lot of things, a lot of papers um, that are uh, disorganized. Uh, it's, uh, but at the same time, that disorder that I have on my desk is like, uh, I have I, I had to them all in, in, in a specific place. So if I order to th those papers and then I try to look for it, I don't find them, but when they are in, Disorganized, I, I can find all of them. So that, that's something that happened to me. I don't know. You. Um, I don't know. I don't have a, a, a by temper. Uh, I'm no, I, I don't consider that a, a strange. Mm, no, I don't consider it. Forgetful. Yes, in this case, uh, forgetful. Uh, it is one of, of the characteristics that I have sometimes because um, someone can ask me something one day and the next day I forget and that's something that's a problem for me because uh, I, I have to well I have an agenda and where I have to take note of the things that I need to do because if not with, with, with the things that I have to do there, there are a lot of them uh, so I forget some of them uh, in, in, at the beginning when I was uh, uh, I was younger. I used to, um, to, to, to forget many things, but now I try to, to solve that taking notes in my agenda. That, that, that's helpful. Uh, well, that's, that's mine. That's, that's, that's the the 
the um, the way that I'm, I I used to be. So, uh, does anyone else wants to add something about you? No. Okay. If not, we're going to see the following. Set so easily. Oh, well, I stop I don't this. Know. I will stop this. I will stop this because we're going to check this information. Um, and we're going to be, uh, well, I will uh, use the whiteboard because that's what I'm going to use uh, in the whiteboard. Uh, tonight, we're going to see, we're going to learn how to use clauses. Okay, using because. Um, in sentences, sometimes when we construct a, a sentence, we, uh, we need uh, to express some things that happen because in a specific action that occur in a specific, uh, that occur in, in a specific time, okay? Because. Uh, that's a way to link uh, two sentences, the main sentence and, and, and uh, a second sentence that must be linked to the main sentence. I will use, a, a, I will write something here and then I will explain. Well, sorry, it's I need to study a lot because I need a 10. in my score. Great. Okay, get out this sentence. I have two sentences here. We use red here. Uh, well, and I'm going to use green in this part. I need to study a lot. Okay. If we notice, this is the, the first sentence. Okay. And here we have the second sentence. It says, I need a 10 in my grades. Okay. I need to study, that's the action that I have to do. And the result, the result of that action uh, could be to get a, a 10, okay? But um, when we use because, okay, when we use the word because, it's because uh, we must specify that something need, need to be, uh, done uh, because of the main action. Uh, in this case, I need to study a lot, okay? Because if, if I don't study, this can happen, okay? Um, it's like using zero conditional or first conditional tenses, but using the word because instead of using if. And because give us the opportunity to express something that can happen, okay? That can uh, be, uh, well, can be something that, that can, can occur in a specific moment. Uh, what, well, you're going to tell me right now the one sentence using because. Can you uh, think about a sentence using because and share it to the chat of this video component? Well, you must, must complete that activity. Uh, and then we are going to uh, be um, discussing about some of the exercises. We're going to do just that. And then we're going to be talking about uh, the exercise that you have on a platform. So, well, a, a construct a sentence using because, uh, where you need to, uh, to use a, a main sentence. 
in, in link it with a second sentence in my case. Um, I have to I have to tell you something before going that going going to uh, work on that working it. Uh, we have these two sentences and we can use because at the beginning and the main um, the main action uh, can be followed by the, the let this one. How we can do it? Okay, we can say because I need a, I need a tent in my grades, comma, I need to study, okay? Because I need a 10 in my grades, I need to study a lot. That's a way to do it, okay? That's the way that we can uh, uh, use this structure. So we can use it at the beginning and then link it that, that the, the main uh, sentence uh, with because. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. Uh, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, but uh, you didn't use because in the second sentence. Uh, it's only in write or is in speaking too? How so? Uh -huh, porque vaya, ahí dice, I need to study a lot because, y, I, ah, no, ya le entendí la coma. Because I need, y ahí sigue, vea. Pero de, y después dijo, I need a 10 in my grades. No, I say, I say, because I need a 10 in my grades, okay? Ah, because I need pues no a 10 in my grades, comma, I need to study a lot. Ah, okay. Sí. Ah, pues sí, es que no lo escuché. Yo, yo ok. Dije, pues, ok, pues okay estoy haciendo mal, dije yo. Gracias. Ok, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Eh, well, because can be substituted using since, okay? Since can be can be uh, uh, can be constructed using since. What happened here? These two sentences uh, represents a result and a reason, okay? Um, for instance, if I want to use a a sentence using a result like this. For instance, uh, are you hung? Are you angry with me? Are you angry with me? Okay, that will be a result. And um, in this case, the reason could be because I opened the letter. Okay, uh, if I want to construct a sentence in that way, what could be a what could be the result of that sentence? How can how you can construct a sentence taking uh, that as as base for for writing a sentence like that? Okay. First of all, are you angry with me? Okay. Take notes of it of it and because I opened the letter. What could be the correct structure of this sentence? How can you do it? I will clear this all these these drawings. It says, are you angry with me? Because I opened the letter. Okay. What do you think about it? Because I opened the letter, are you hungry with me? Exactly, that's a way to do it. That's a way to do it. Okay, because I opened the letter, are you angry with me? Very good, excellent, amazing. So, uh, please pay attention to this video. Pay, pay carefully attention to this video using clauses with because. Can you see the screen right now? No yet. Yeah. No yet. Uh -huh. You are sharing the whiteboard. Mm -hmm. And you're in the whiteboard. Ah, oh, sorry. Give me a second because I have a problem here. Then that's me using this, this, and this. Okay. I think that you are checking, I mean, that you're seeing 
the screen right now, right? Yes, there it is. Okay, go ahead. Pay attention to this video. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay, uh, there you have the video and um, well, let's see, uh, Mr. Portillo. Mr. Portillo, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, uh, Mr. Portillo, why uh, did you decide to study English? Because I want to improve my English. Okay, so we're going to construct a sentence with that answer, okay? Because I want to improve my English, okay? I decide to study English. English, okay? So we can do it in that way. Why we can construct sentence like that? Oh, because as we saw in the video, uh, the because, the word because, is answering the question why. If I ask everybody why uh, you did this, the other person is going to uh, answer saying like because this this and this is it clear what i'm saying yes okay very yes. good guys very good guys please write a sentence using because in the chat of this video conference and then we're going to uh well we are we have finished the the sessions for tonight Tomorrow we are going to uh, see, I mean, we're going to have the final video class for this course. Please uh, don't miss it uh, tomorrow because we are going to be working on the final exam. Uh, so guys, that's been all for tonight. If you have any questions, please let me know right now. Remember, you are going to post a sentence uh, using the chat. This game will, will be uh, the WhatsApp group. Okay, you're going to post it there. Write a sentence using because and then post it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, is it is it clear right now? Yes, it is. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. So, uh, do you have an, do you have a question for me? Uh, I have a question with the with the another subject uh, okay, the pronunciation yeah. este, I have a question uh, when you have a, a vocal you vowel. just vowel when you have a vowel just you pronounce the vowel right the and phoneme when you have yes the phoneme it's the sound right is the song. Uh, 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 for instance, if, if I say uh, not, the phoneme is the, the uh, I don't know if you can listen that. 
the okay, sound. If I say not, not, not. Exactly, exactly. That is the ones that we pronounce or not. Uh, that is a phoneme. Use, exactly, that phoneme. Uh, the, mm -hmm. uh, if we use um, the letter T uh, or the phoneme in that case, uh, in a sentence, and it is followed by a, a vowel, we, are, we have to pronounce it. I need a bottle of water, okay? I need a bottle of water. But if I say, um, I don't need, um, I don't need basketball. I don't need basketball. Uh, don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't but the, need. But the phoneme is only with D and T. D and no. T at the end of the at the end of the uh, of the word. Don't okay. don't. I do not need. Okay, I do not need. I use you, mm -hmm. you got usually, it right. Usually you use that with regulars and irregular verbs, right? Exactly, exactly. Uh, but not just regular and irregular verbs, because can happen with with sentence that uh, at the end uh, it sounds like, like like those phonemes. Okay. 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 Got okay. it. Do you have another Thank question you. for me? No, teacher, me no. Okay. Thank you. Someone else. What about the others? Do you have any question? Yes or no? Please let me know. No, teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss. Okay, guys, very good. That's been all for tonight. If you don't have uh, any other questions, I have to say bye bye. Blessings for all of you and take care. And I will see you tomorrow for the final uh, video class. Don't miss it, because tomorrow we'll be, we are going to be solving the missing exercises. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. We have uh, a party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you have many of them. Okay, very okay. good, excellent. So we're going to do it tomorrow. Uh, blessings for all of you, and take care. Bye-bye. Have a nice night. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you, sir.